Hey, how's it going? And today we are doing something a little different. We're updating UE4 animations to UE5. Technically, we're updating UE5 to UE5.1 animations. And this all started because I have an animation starter pack and it's showing as not currently available with my current project. So I'm going to show you how to do this in hopefully six relatively easy steps. So the first step is to create a blank third person project with no starter content. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to call this animations two, and we're going to go create. And that is step one. And of course it just takes a minute. It almost seems like I could be mining Bitcoin in the time that it takes. To <laughs> okay. So here we are. And now once that's done, I'm going to go into the Epic launcher and I'm in my library. And I'm going to go down to my animation starter pack, which is right here. And you can see if I go on the information icon, it's compatible all the way back to the very 4.4. <laughs> I have a feeling it'll be updated at 5.1 pretty soon, but it's just not right now. So we're going to go through the process. So you can go through this process with any other starter pack you might have. So anyway, we go add to project. And of course, it's filtered things out by compatibility and it doesn't show anything. So this is step two, which is to show all projects. And now we can see it right here and I'll go. It says it's not compatible. Please select the closest alternative version. Well, it's not very far away. It's that one right there. And so we'll go add to project. So it's doing some unreal magic under the hood. I don't know what it's doing exactly, but now we can go back into our game and I'll see it's been added right here. And so that leads us to step three, which is we're going to find its included skeleton, which I have a funny feeling is going to be right here under mesh. And it's this funny looking <laughs> thing right here that looks like something uh, from Halloween. But we click on that. And then it seems, almost seems scary what we're going to try to delete it. So we're going to go right click and delete. And it's going to save us. It's not going to delete it right away. And it's going to say replace. We're going to choose replace references. And it wants us to pick one. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick the UE4 skeleton that's actually already in Unreal Engine 5. So it's right there, the SK mannequin skeleton and we just go replace references. And it gives us, are we sure we want to do this? No, I'm not 100% sure, but let's just go ahead and do it. And then we'll go save selected. And then it's done something that's apparently replaced all those skeletons with the skeleton that was in UE5. So that was step three. Now what we're going to do is, was that step three or four? Well, let's just say that was step four. Okay, now step five is we're going to go to, to the animation pack. There is all of our animations, and these are all mostly war ones. So let me resize this window here. This particular showcase thing that's kind of thrown in here. So what you can do to kind of get that out of the way is just press F2, because this is all sorted alphabetically, right? So we'll just call it ZZ underscore showcase rename it so it's at the end and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll press down shift and I'll select all of the assets in the folder except for that showcase one and this is almost just like throwing salt over your shoulder we're just making sure that everything is kind of linked up so we're gonna right click go to asset actions and go bulk edit by a property matrix boy that's a mouthful and We'll just go up here and go file, save all. So we just make sure that everything's locked down and connected like it should be. And believe it or not, there is only one step after this, so I can just close this window, is if I go into characters here, UE4 mannequins, and I go into rigs, there's this retargeting the IK retargeter right here and we want the RTG underscore UE4 Manny UE5. Fun fact is that Quinn is actually a child of Manny. So 
that sounds almost weird to say. Everything is based on Manny, unfortunately. So we click and then we can see all of our retargeting. Looks like it went through. There's a UE4 and there's a UE5. So now all we got to do is let me just go ahead and dock this window up here. And I can select the first one there. Scroll down, hit shift and select all of them and then go export selected animations. I can go click on my starter pack here, right click and go new folder. And we're just gonna call these UE5 and I'll just put upgraded just so I know that they're upgraded and hit close there and go export. And then it exports them all. And just like that, if I double click onto them, you'll see all of my assets now. I don't know what he's doing there. Let's uh, get another one. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a fantastic day.